Okay, first off, I have to apologize. It has been a long time since I've worked on this game. Um, you know, life things got in the way. You know, having a baby and stuff, I can use as an excuse, but really I shouldn't have let it go this long. But I, I haven't given up, obviously. I'm still working on this. We're almost done. We've got the basic gameplay, so now all I have to do is uh, uh, create a bunch of levels, uh, which should be hard, and hopefully uh, community will help build some levels. Uh, but also I'm going to be... Uh, need to create a main menu and that is what I am going to be doing today. So let's see, I'm going to come up here. So far we've got two scenes, our level one and our game credits. We need a main menu that's able to link to both those and other levels that we create. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click this plus sign and I'm going to create a new scene. I'm going to press spacebar and type in camera and I'm going to add a camera. I'm going to make sure in this camera tab that this is an orthographic, meaning it's more of a 2D image rather than uh, a 3D image because we want flat stuff since this is a 2D game. I'm going to go into the side view here, grab and move this camera back some, and then zero on the pad to go back to it. At this point, I'm going to hit spacebar and type in uh, actually, I'll type in plane and import images plane. That's a add-on. You have to enable it, but it is installed by default. I've shown that in many previous tutorials. I am going to make this shadeless pre-multiply, and I am going to go to a folder uh, that I have somewhere. Uh, Blender games pop. And we will go into, it's under concept art. And I'm going to change this to thumbnail views. And this is the background shot that I'm using. It's actually a wallpaper uh, that uh, was created. Um, and we will hit import images plane RX90 to rotate it and scale it up. I'm going to scale it up, you know, as it says root password root because this is the background that uh, I was planning on using. Uh, and probably still will on the USB flash drives as the uh, backdrop for the Linux distro, uh, possibly. And uh, default password is root for root. Anyway, that's why that's there. Just thought I'd explain that. So this will be our main menu. Now all we have to do is, once again, uh, hit spacebar, import images plane. I'm going to go um, up a level and to menus and in here I've created a PNG that says level one we'll choose that we'll choose shadeless use alpha because it is does have a transparency level and we'll say pre multiply import image as plane RX 90 to rotate it 90 degrees and then we will just scale it down we'll grab it and move it to here so that's going to be our button obviously now if we hit and to go into game mode, we have no cursor. Let's do it the simple way. I'm just going to choose my uh, camera object here, and I'm going to say always Python, and we already have our script for uh, mouse cursor here. Click, boom. Uh, and you'll notice that our button has disappeared. I'll show you why in a second, but I'll hit P. It is there, uh, and there's our cursor click on it doesn't do anything yet. The reason it's not showing up here is because it's on the same exact level as our background image. Let's hit three on the number pad to go into side view. We're going to grab our background image and just move it back a little bit so it's we have our button in front of it now instead of laying on top of each other. And now it's there. P. Okay. And um, with that selected, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to hit control up arrow. That makes a uh, with the cursor over the game logic view. We'll make that uh, full screen just so you can see this a little easier. I am going to say, I'm going to add two mouse sensors. And we're going to say, for this top one, mouse over. So what we're going to say here, we're going to add an end. We're going to say, when the mouse is over this button and the mouse has its left button clicked, then we're going to do something. And in this case, it's going to be a scene, uh, set scene, connect these here. And then from this drop down, I'm going to choose level one because it's the level one button. So now, control down arrow will bring us out of full screen mode for that. I'm going to hover over our 3D view here, press P. And now, if I click on that, 
we go to our first level. So, Q to quit, or you click on the menu button. Um, that is that button, but uh, let's uh, make it just like our other buttons in the game. Let's minimize these. And uh, we're on our first frame here. I'm going to hit shift uh, up arrow, and that will bring us to 11 frames. So we're jumping 10 frames. I'm going to hit S and scale that up just a little. Oh, you know what? Control Z to undo that. Uh, shift left arrow to go back to the first frame. I, we need to set a scaling uh, keyframe for it at the beginning before we change it. Uh, shift, up arrow, scale, a little bit bigger. I for keyframe there. We'll go back to, oops, shift left arrow to go back to the first frame there. And now we're going to say uh, on this one, we have mouse over. We're going to connect the mouse over to a different little controller here. So when that sensor is active, so when the mouse is over that, just like before, we're going to say, here, let me make this full screen again for you guys here. Um, add an actuator. It will be an action. It will be a ping pong, or a flipper, I believe is what we uh, chose. We are going to choose our level one button. And we're going to say zero, zero, frame 0 to frame 11. And we will connect this here. So when the mouse is over it, let's see if we did this right. The mouse is over it, it grows. The mouse is removed, it goes back. So that way you know what button you're on. And then if we click it, we go into our game here. So... And we will... Oh, although it does keep our regular cursor active. We'll have to look into that later on. So exit out of that or just hu hit Q to quit. Let's do the same thing, but this time we're going to do it uh, for our credits. And I was going to create it completely new, but maybe we can just clone this object. So with this button selected, I'm going to hit Shift D and then uh, Z to keep it on the same axis so they line up properly. I'm actually going to put this down at the bottom because it will hopefully be levels in between the two. And what I'm going to do is, uh, with that button selected, come in here to Textures. And I am going to choose a new texture. Uh, let's go into a thumbnail view here. Credits. Open. And did not update. Oh, because it's a we're in the game. I'm sorry, I'm talking to myself here. Uh, drawing a blank on game mode. It might be quicker just to create a whole nother button instead of me remembering the differences between render mode and game mode. Because if I hit F12 now to render this out, you can see they actually both say credit now. So let's, um, yeah, actually they're, uh, control Z, control Z, delete. Oh, no, control Z. Okay. We're going to create a whole other button because it's easier than me remembering the fast way to do it. Um, choose that. Shadeless, pre multiply, alpha, rotate, x90. Scale it down so it's about the same size as our other button. Grab it, move it down here. Set a scaling keyframe up 10 frames, scale it up a little. I set another keyframe, be sure to go back to the first frame. Then down in here with it selected, we're going to add two mouse sensors. So I'm going a little fast now, but it's doing exactly what we just did. Oh, not mouse over any mouse, just mouse over. And we are going to say end. So these two connected. Oop, if I connect it all the way. I'm going to add another controller here for just mouse over. I'm going to add an actuator scene, uh, set scene, and this time we're going to choose game credits. So that's the top one. I'm going to add another actuator here. And we're going to, in this case, say action, flipper, our love, our our game credit button to frame 11 
and connect this here. So that was quick, but just redoing what we did, but for a second button here. So hover, 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 hover. Click this one. Should start our game credits. Here we go. And I'll scroll through uh, the people who helped with the art, and then uh, people who helped do music uh, for parts of it. Actually, the actual level one music was a song I wrote. Uh, and then it goes through the backers here, and uh, let's see. Oops, I forget what I set uh, on the credits scene. If Q, I don't know if I made a way to exit out of the credit scene, so maybe that's what we'll do in the next tutorial. So again, I apologize for the delay on this uh, being, I believe, the 44th pop tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it. We're almost done, so uh, keep on watching, and uh, thanks for your patience. Have a great day.